When the police decided to abandon their pursuit, Michael Coppage might have believed that he had successfully evaded justice. However, a vigilant citizen by the name of Floyd Briggs intervened, stepping up in a remarkable way. Chickasha, a town in Oklahoma with just over 16,000 residents, is relatively small. In such close-knit communities, people tend to watch out for one another. This sense of community is essential given that Chickasha experiences a crime rate well above the national average. According to neighborhoods, Chickasha doesn't rank as a particularly safe place to live. The city's crime rate is higher than 86% of all towns and cities in Oklahoma. This means that residents have a 1 in 27 chance of falling victim to property or violent crimes. Chickasha's level of violent crime is alarmingly high, even by national standards. Incidents include armed robbery, rape, aggravated assault, non-negligent manslaughter, and murder. The chances of becoming a victim of such crimes stand at 1 in 149. Property crime in Chickasha also surpasses the national average. This category covers offenses like burglary, larceny, arson, and vehicle theft, with residents facing a 1 in 33 chance of being targeted by one of these crimes. In 2012, Grady County, which encompasses Chickasha, had the 22nd highest crime rate out of Oklahoma's 77 counties. Larceny was the most frequently reported crime. Larceny, as defined by Merriam-Webster, involves the unlawful taking of personal property. Discussing the county's elevated crime rate, Chickasha Police Major Ellip Moore spoke with the Express Star newspaper in 2014. He remarked, we report everything we're supposed to, but other agencies may not. It's not a number you want, but it doesn't come as a surprise. We've been in the upper part for over 20 years. We're aware of those numbers, and we do everything we can to make ours a safe community. Interestingly, it's not just the Chickasha police officers who are actively combating crime in the city. In 2015, local resident Floyd Briggs put his life on the line to prevent a felon from escaping local law enforcement. It all began when Chickasha police spotted Michael Coppage speeding on his motorcycle at 63 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. Clearly in violation of the law, officers initiated a pursuit. However, Coppage refused to pull over, leading the police on a high speed chase through city streets and alleys. Officer Michael Harperhead, in a subsequent report, described the chase, saying, the motorcycle led me on a chase through alleys and other city streets. The motorcycle passed multiple vehicles, and there were multiple parties outside as the motorcycle refused to stop. The motorcycle endangered multiple parties. Ultimately, the police lost sight of Coppage, prompting Sergeant John Young to call off the pursuit. However, shortly after law enforcement abandoned their chase, Briggs took matters into his own hands. He observed Coppage driving recklessly through his neighborhood and stepped into the road to block his path. Explaining his decision to intervene, Briggs told KFOR News in 2015, I said I gotta stop this guy before he hurts a little kid. I ain't no football player either. Coppage swerved to avoid hitting Briggs, but in doing so, he lost control of his motorcycle and fell to the ground. Recounting the moment, Briggs stated, he laid that bike over about here and slid all the way to that pickup. Nevertheless, Coppage wasn't ready to give up just yet. Floyd Briggs recounted, he got up, sprinted around that fence over there, and I pursued him despite quickly running out of energy. I'm not exactly built for speed. Despite his fatigue, Briggs persisted and managed to steer Coppage directly into the path of the pursuing police. The officers promptly apprehended Coppage, who received medical treatment for injuries sustained during the crash at a local hospital before being transferred to the county jail. There, he faced charges of reckless driving and driving without a license, all thanks to Briggs' courageous intervention. In addition to these charges, Coppage was accused of evading the police, leaving the scene of a crime, and driving without insurance. Subsequently, he was released on bail as indicated in Grady County Sheriff's Department prison records. 
Coppage defended his actions by claiming that he fled from the police because he lacked insurance and a valid license. However, Briggs didn't find this excuse convincing. He remarked, that's not a serious matter right there. You receive a ticket, a slap on the hand, pay your fine, and rectify the issue. Despite his strong stance, Briggs did feel the need to apologize to his neighbors for using strong language in the heat of the moment. He admitted, I used some words that aren't typically part of my vocabulary. Some of the language I used, I was quite agitated. I'm sorry for that. Nevertheless, despite his choice of words, Briggs had no regrets about stepping in front of Coppage's motorcycle. He emphasized the importance of looking out for one another in a close-knit neighborhood with families and children. As he told Oklahoma's KOCO News in 2015, we've got to watch out for each other. If people aren't looking out for each other, our community wouldn't be as strong. Floyd Briggs found himself thrust into action when he spotted felon Michael Coppage attempting to evade the police on a motorcycle and he took it upon himself to uphold the law.